my name is Monique. I will be, form, be performing tracheostomy care on my patient. I have tra I'm a tracheostomy kit. I have an extra set of sterile gloves. I have my normal saline that has been opened, so I will have to lift it. It is not expired. It doesn't have any floating sediments in it, and it is not cloudy. I have a, um, my trach tie kit, and I have some normal, have some sanitizer. So go ahead and sanitize my hands. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my patient's room. Good morning, my name is Monique. I'll be your nurse today. Can you state your name and date of birth for me? Okay, great. All right, Ms. Aaron has um, stated the name and date of birth. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to um, perform tracheostomy care on you. I've already suctioned you. Um, are you in any pain at this moment? Okay, and so at the time I, if you ever experience any discomfort or pain during the procedure, please raise your left hand for me. My patient has a pulse oximeter on. It's going to measure as O2 sets and it's at 97%. So I will not have to hyper oxygenate my patient unless his O2 sets is at 92 or below. I have my um, patient has a, a drape over him just to catch any um, thing that may, any particles or liquid that may come from the procedure. I'll go ahead and put on some clean gloves. I'm just going to listen to my patient's long sounds. All right, lift up your gown. patient's lung signs are clear um, and he's getting oxygenated um, with the O2 with oxygen so I'm going to go ahead and remove it well I just leave it on I can just go ahead and open up my my um, trait kit I'm going to remove my gloves and set up my sterile field making sure that I don't touch anything greater than one inch um, of my kit. So I have my hands and I'm gonna take out my sterile drape just to make sure I only touch the sterile drape. I'll place it Shiny side is down, so I'm going to go ahead again, only using my one inch border. Go ahead and pour my. I'll just put that up on the end. Okay. So now I can go ahead and remove my patient's um, oxygenation and instruments to be used. Again, I will have to lip my liquid on the same side. making sure I pour my solution the same side that I lip. If my patient had an infection in its, um, in its stonewall, I would have to use peroxide and I would have to put it in the, um, the largest container. But it's not infected, so we're okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the oxygen source while I stabilize and remove. Just checking for um, any, uh, what type of drainage, the color of it, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in my large. Kind of let that soak. Go ahead and remove the dressing as well. Okay. I can 
can go ahead and put on my sterile glove because now it will be considered sterile. Just separate my items. Oh my God, it's so clean. I need that. I won't need that. But I will need this. So I go ahead and. and Clean my, making sure I only use the larger side just in case anything has to fall over, it just fall over in this area. Alright, it's in place. Now my procedure is not considered sterile since I've um, cleaned and not put it a place to back in my patient. So I can do what I need to do as far as cleaning around the stoma. Also checking my items, my brushes, just to see any crud on and the color of it. my new ties here and make sure that I apply my new ties first. Alright, Mr. Bailey. Just gonna put this behind your 
head. You put your head up on them just a little bit. You want to make sure that you can only get one finger under so I will have to tighten it up a little bit reapply my oxygen Source. Check my patient's O2 sets and it's at 97%. I monitor my patient's respiratory um, respiratory effect and the lung respirations are even in non labor. I listen to my patient's lung sounds again. Okay. My patient's long sounds are clear. All right, are you okay? All right, so I wouldn't have to hyper oxygenate my patient because um, O2 sets are at 97, well, I mean, ranging from 97 to 98 percent. Um, she is um, she's not in distress or anything. Her side rails up times two. Um, head, bed or then send my filers. Um, I can just go ahead and clean up all my stuff. And this here completes my assessment. My 